okay people I'm getting ready to do more prepping this is going to be I just peeled wanted to hurry up and peel it so I didn't take my time on trying to show you but I'm gonna make some potato salad I'm gonna make some yams some candied yams and beet arugula salad which is here I have my they're they're peeled and they're cut up into big chunks and I'm going to just kind of, you know, I brought that up to a boil. So those are my beets. They're peeled. Make sure you rinse them. I peel them and then I rinse them. And then I put them in a steamer. So that's like a steamer. It's got, oops, it's got like um, little um, holes on the bottom. Um, it's a good old-fashioned, let me clean this up real quick. So it's a good old-fashioned steamer, something like, I want to see what it looks like. Like this. And then it's a, like a double steamer pot. And then I've had it for years and it works just fine. Um, okay, and then I'm trying to let that cool because I turned on the I turned on the uh, um, the burner by accident and I wasn't cooking anything in there, which was that's what I get concerned about. So I'm letting that cool off over here. So in this, I'm boiling some water. I put a pinch of salt, and I'm going to add a piloncillo. And that's like a unrefined cane sugar. And that's what I'm going to cook my um, yams with. So, okay, let me show you um, how I'm going to do this. There you go. Alrighty. So I just cut them. I like using big chunks. So you want them, like, you know how the can uh, yams that you get in a can? So, kind of similar to that. Some people make them smaller. Yeah, I could do, like, medium size. Well, these are considered large, large diced. So I don't want them too big. But these are the, this is size like you find in the can. I don't want that size. But they're not going to be, they're not going to be nothing like the canned. Okay. And you want to kind of make sure that they're all the same size. Let's go ahead and put them in this bowl real quick. Okay. And then, yeah, cut that. All right. Yep. And make sure you get a chopping board that's um, like this. This is like an NSF, which is um, professional chopping board that less dulls your knife out. Yeah. Okay, it doesn't dull your knife as fast as if you were to have a regular chopping board I never I don't like using the glass chopping boards okay we're gonna take that off what you need dear huh oh you're welcome you have enough because we can always get some more My friend wanted some ice cream. So when you're, um, let me go back to shopping. So when you're shopping for your goodies, you know, for the holidays, find you'll spend a lot of money, you know, with the spices and always look at your, your, um, uh, the date. Even on your spices, you want to rotate your spices out. You want to five-fold your cans, your frozen goods. You want to clean out your freezer. Um, a lot of people, that's the time of the year that they they want to make dinner. to, And then they use whatever's in their freezer to make that dinner. So they don't waste. And they can kind of recycle the food. But... Like, I'll have my, I kind of do that, kind of get in the freezer or my refrigerator and start discarding stuff. 
and because you want to make room for leftovers. Okay. All right. So, okay. Mm. All right. So I'm going to go ahead. So that's a lot of yams. Go ahead and put my piloncillo in there. Okay. I had that piloncillo for a while and I'd like to use it. And I put a pinch of salt. Okay. You put a pinch of salt. I put a piloncillo. Uh, you could use regular brown, uh, unrefined sugar or your... I mean, you don't always have to use white sugar, is what I'm saying. Put all that. I might discard some of that water, because I really don't want that much water in it. Oops. So. No, I'm seriously cooking, because I'm on a time schedule. And I have to get enough rest for tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and discard some of this water. You don't really need that much water. Went down there. You want enough water, just enough water to not even cover but almost cover the yams okay and then you let that cook and you don't want to cook it all the way you don't want to you don't want to cook it soft you want to cook it like al, al dente kind of you don't want to cook it it's to the bite because you're going to cook the rest you're going to let it marinate overnight with all your sweeteners and allow that to marinate with your maple syrup and all that and then then you're going to put it with your pecans and you're going to put it in the oven with your spices and your butter and you're going to put it in the oven for I um, mean you're going to you're going to allow it to marinate in the refrigerator and all those flavors are going to go inside um the yams and then you're going to go ahead and cook it and then I mean cook the rest of it in the oven and then you're going to add some marshmallows and pecans whatever you want to add on top and then you have some beautiful candied yams okay all right okay okay now I'm going to go ahead and get ready for, I'm checking my pies. Oh, it's looking good. Those are my pies. They're looking really, really good. Okay, you want to hurry up and close that so that the heat doesn't escape. So I have it on there for an hour. Okay, rinse this off. And let's make the potato salad. Didn't have time to peel the potatoes, but <clears throat> so So I got some water over here so I can take the peelings off and kind of rinse off. Those are clean up. Uh, you don't want any. 
and there's a way to do these but um, these uh, peel these without having to go through the trouble that I'm going through right now but I don't have the time to research it I don't feel like it <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and peel them and rinse them out like I usually do I think when you boil them with vinegar I'm not too sure I said you want them al dente and also keep an eye on my beets at the same time and this is your multitasking while you're cooking I hope you don't mind that I'm doing this Lewis okay. I do this for my kids my grandkids and whoever wants to learn So those bigger companies are bad, huh? You know, I wrote the FMSCA and I told them that I think they need to have it unionized. I think these big companies need to be unionized. That's just, huh? Yeah, I know. But I don't like, I don't want to deliver mail. Yeah, but they filed bankruptcy. Okay, this got a little sticky. That's not good. I don't like that. So, anytime, like, you have, like, eggs that like to stick like the one I just did, that's okay. You still use it. So, always put an extra egg in there. one did really well. See that one did pretty good. Oh come on. Sometimes they just, sometimes they peel gracefully and sometimes they just don't want to peel gracefully. I don't know why. Like I said, there's a way to peel them without them sticking to the flesh of the egg, hard boiled egg. But I certainly don't know how it's done. So I never take the time to learn that. But if you like to, then by all means do it. Okay. So I'm gonna check my check my sweet potatoes. No, nope. I'm gonna stir them up a little bit. They're starting to, but not quite. By the time I peel these, they probably will. Okay, I'm gonna put these over here. Mm 
want a clean bowl so that you can um, mix it. And then you want a bowl where you're going to store it. I'm going to show you how to do that. And this is just a simple potato salad. Nothing fancy. This is a traditional one. I've done a couple videos on them. I think you'll enjoy. And I use the russet potatoes. You could use the Yukon. You could use whatever potato, but traditionally it's a russet because it's just a different texture, slightly different texture. And it just makes the potato salad more potatoey, in my opinion. And it's rustic. I guess that's why they call them rustic. Then I use my fingers. Um, there's a way of also peeling these potatoes without doing it the way that I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So it's something you're going to have to figure out. Well, I tell you, I don't think I'll do this next year. <laughs> I'm hoping to be at my kid's house next year. <laughs> One of my kids' house. Because <sighs> this is hard work, and I don't feel like cooking. I want to go to a kid's house that likes to cook. <laughs> but I did a lot of the cooking, so I was like the cook of the family. So, I mean, and that's how I got into catering. I like it, but then I don't. Okay. I mean, I don't like it because it's hard. And when you're doing it alone, actually, I do like it. Let me take it back. I do like cooking. It's kind of weird, but I do. But I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> people like to cook. Some people, some people don't. And that's good because nowadays everybody's working busy and they like to sit down and have a good meal. And if you have the time to do it, then awesome. It's such a gift and a blessing to be able to do that. Okay, now that I quit rambling, so let's get this other stuff together. I'm going to rinse off my knife. Okay. And I think I'm going to turn off because I'm going to let... Okay, that's done. I'm going to take it off. Because, yeah. These are soft. I'll show you in the next clip. I'm going to check my pies, pull them out, show you what they look like. And then we'll go with the next part.